Well, hey there, YouTube. You know, I found out over time it really doesn't pay for me to do anything nice because I always get bitten for it in the end. Uh, look, here, I tried to do something nice for the trailblazer here the other day. I took out the old cloudy headlamps and put in new headlamp housings and new LED bulbs in them and whatnot. And the very next day, during the day, I smacked into a deer. Now, it didn't harm the headlights at all, but it did ding up the hood there, and it knocked out the, the grill and the plastic header behind it that holds the grill and the headlights in. It, it all shattered except for the parts that hold the headlights. So now I got to take the headlights back out and I've got new header and new grill in those two boxes there. Now I had looked all over YouTube to see if there was anything that showed how to put one of these header assemblies in and there's not. So I guess you're just going to have to wait and see if I get it done or not not operating from any instructions here or anything I'm just gonna see if I can do it now I did get a fella at the body shop over across the road over there to beat on the hood a little bit because it was scrunched up a little bit worse and was bowed up here and over there he hit it with a hammer a few times underneath and it brought it right back down Pop the hood here. And I'll go ahead and remove the headlights first. And since I know how to do that, that's the easiest part. I'll need a screwdriver for that. I think. Should just need a flathead screwdriver basically just two tabs on each side that tab I can pull up with my fingers but this one back in here I about need a screwdriver to there it's up here's another tab here oh it's already up okay great I think it's up anyhow uh, well it's up now <laughs> have to get my flashlight to see how to pop this other tab up. Yeah, I should get up my shop light, but I just hadn't. And I may do with that yet because this flashlight's off a week. See if I can pry on it. There it is. Popped it right up. And I probably will get out the drop light here in a little bit. But the headlights, once you pop those tabs up, they just come right out. And all you do then, get the head, get the screwdriver again. <laughs> With this little tab on the bottom down here and that'll just unplug and this one over here just twist loose and this one up top here just twist out well I say it does it's wanting to be stubborn there that's all there is to taking a headlight out on these things. Nothing to it. Piece of cake. As John from Arkansas says, piece of cake. Let's see if I can get this one here to... It may want to be a little more stubborn here because 
where I had that accident with the deer, but it's not wanting to pull out of there. Mm. Mm. All right, well, let me pause this video for a while, and I want to see what I got to do to get this thing out here. All right, that second one just needed a little gentle persuasion. I just stuck a screwdriver behind it and pried a little bit, and it popped right out, so no biggie. I'm going to go over here, grab my old drop light, and get my extension cord here, a little short short extension cord here and we'll get this plugged in get our light plugged in I replaced the light bulb in this thing with a uh, LED bulb so I don't have to worry about it getting hot or anything anymore. That just gives me a little bit of extra light. Now I gotta get my socket set out here. And I believe I need a 10 millimeter. It might be something else, but I believe it's a 10. Is that one there? I don't know. Thirteen. Let's see, we'll see if we can find a ten here, right quick. We'll see if this is the right size. Yep, it's the right size for these plastic pieces. Yes. Now, I don't know what all I'll have to take off once I get these plastic pieces loose, but if I can show you on here, I believe it's just these two bolts here, this one, this one, and these two. Once I get all them out, this header thing, well, okay, there's one down here. Let's see if I feel around. Okay, looks like there's one here, one here, and one back there. So there's four, six, eight, ten of them. Y'all, I'm sure don't need to see me unratcheting these things here. I mean, hell, you've seen people use a socket wrench before, I'm sure. These, of course, these things ain't very tight. I've had, had them all off before. Well, I've had the, the top ones off before when I was changing out the water pump and whatnot. And I'm going to go ahead and Turn the camera off here, and after I get these done, yeah, get the see if there's any if there's any trick to getting this out. Well, I'll discuss that here in a little bit. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and just shut you down. All right. Well, I've got those bolts out. Now I need to push these wiring harnesses back through other sides of these. And these here up here I think we've got a little plastic keeper of a thing. Drop like down here to see. Yeah you know, I'll be able to just pop squeeze that and push it through so I'm gonna get me a pair of pliers here right quick. I say it right quick. Of course, saying it and doing it is two different things. Right here's an old cheapy pair of pliers. I mean, it's just plastic. I shouldn't need any more than that. Two 
should be able to squeeze these together and just push it through in there. Well, it feels like it's trying to. Yeah, that gives me a little bit better light situation there. Of course, as soon as I let go of it, well, it's right back again. <laughs> One of those things where you can't push it while it's squeezed because it's flushed up against it. And if it's not squeezed, you can't do anything because, well, it's not squeezed then. Well, let me get my flashlight over here and I'll see if I can find me a pair of needle nose and where I can maybe get a better bite on it here. And of course, can't find the needle nose. I thought I put the needle nose out over there with the my electronic stuff. I hear the pair of needle nose if I can get to them. Little short pair. Yes, yes, yes. See if I can get them squeezed out there where I can get that push through. Well, no, it just don't want to do it, does it? Oh, there. Okay. I was just doing it wrong. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be curious as to what happened to that. I guess it's still stuck on the back of the head. <laughs> Alright, well, let me get over to this one. I'll squeeze it and push it through. I should be able to start. Well, let me get these other plugs through here. Through their holes. Alright, now set that there and squeeze this one off and try to push it through. Maybe. Let's see where the heck it gets squeezed yet. Okay, there we are. That through its little slot there. Lay it up top side here. All right. Now we'll see if we can't start getting this thing, what's left of it, pulled off of here. I think it's in two separate pieces, but. hose here. I'm not exactly sure what the heck that goes to. Oh, it looks like it goes, looks like it keeps the battery cool or something in the battery box. Alright, well I'll have to figure out how to get that out later. Well, that side's off. Just have to work with it a little bit here to try to get this side off. This side probably be easier because I think it's, yeah. This side just basically fell apart. <laughs> just fell apart now. Alright, well, wasn't much to getting that out. 
I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off now and get the new one out here and try to start getting it pushed in there. I might have to leave the camera off. I don't know how much cussing I'm going to be doing trying to fit that back in there since it's all one piece. <laughs> all right, well, the new one fit in pretty easily. It's a lot more flexible than the old one. Of course, the old one was a brittle and everything. I mean, you could take it and go like that and it would snap. Basically, all I had to do was pull this up and bend that back a little bit and got it right up underneath of the thing. The holes are lining up there. And I'll get these holes lined up and whatnot after a while. But I've already started putting the top bolts back in. And I've got this little light over here. got the connector pushed back through that little hole. And I'll hook the battery holes battery breather back up there. I guess it, for want of a better term, I don't know what the heck that thing is actually called. Uh, take this and turn it around and get it poked through that little hole here. Okay, that's right through. I'm just hang that down now. Oh. Get down here and pull the wiring harnesses back through for the lights. There's the turn signal bulb. And going through this one over here. We headlight wires. The same thing over here, right here, turn signal bulb and headlight wires. Then we can go ahead and start tightening the bolts down here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Got the bridge in back here. Up it up over here. There we go. I'm glad that thing's so much more flexible. That sure made it easy to put in. I'll say all I gotta do now is just get all the bolts started up here. And I can plug the headlights back into it. One thing I want to do is with the headlights first off, those LED bulbs, the rubber O-rings on them. Are kind of small and the bulbs want to kind of roll around a little bit inside of the housings. I want to take the, I've got the original O rings from the original halogen bulbs and I want to take them off and put them on those LEDs. And We'll see how that goes here in a little bit. Get that pulled over. Get that one started. Yeah, there we go. That one's a little bit harder to get out of. It'd be a little bit hard to put in. We'll get these four for the bottom. And they were all 10 millimeter. That was good. Right down in there. Just like it should. Push it to the key back in. I 
again. You know what? I might have should have put all that in together. Might have should have, might have should have ought to put all that in together. We didn't think about it at the time. Ah, there we are. That's back down in there. It locks it in place, family. Now I just got two of these little screws left and they should go in these. If I can get it started, I'll call that good if I can get it started. And it did, it started. Get this one over here started. Shut the camera off here and I'll see what's next. Alright, well we've got the thing back on, tightened back down. Not real tight around here, but I don't think it ever was. Got the headlights back in. These little metal tabs here on the replacement ones are kind of cheap. I'll leave them in there for now, but later on here, uh, probably this fall or something, when I go to do, go to winterize this thing, I'm going to take this all back off and take the original ones from from the old broken one and put them in. These things here bend too easily. The other ones you could beat on them with a hammer and wouldn't bend them. These here. You press down on them too hard, it bends them instead of pushing them down. I'm going to go ahead now and grab the grill. And all you do with the grill, I mean, you can watch that anywhere on YouTube, it just pops right back on. But I mean, heck, heck, I might as well go ahead and show you. You take these. I don't know how well this is going to fit because they like say this is aftermarket stuff. So. But it fit into that one okay. Fit into that one. That one. That one. Man. I show them down here at the bottom. See if it will go in. That one went in. they're supposed to just pop right in but uh, these stupid aftermarket parts you can't never tell what the hell they're going to do the old one like I say I mean it just went right on there and these are going to be having some difficulty doing that okay yeah, that one's in that's in over here doesn't want to go in. good as we're going to get it in or some of it might be because it was in that accident because there's a bit of a gap here that probably come down a little bit 
but it's a whole it's, it's pretty damn close pardon my language but it is pretty close I think yeah okay that look now it plugged in it probably won't stay that way now you can just pull it right back out too easily but I imagine if you just leave it there it'd probably stay yeah yeah, the rest of it seems to be staying, so. So we were going to go with that. Call it good. That may get what little tools are still under the hood here out. And we'll set the hood down and see how she looks. I'll eventually get a new hood. They're only a couple hundred bucks. And I'll probably eventually get the emblem that goes in here. Although, I might take a salvage yard or something for that. <laughs> as much as they want for them. Put that back in. Close that down. Ah, oh, yeah, she's not too bad now. I don't think. Let's see here. Yeah, she don't look too shabby. You definitely use a new hood. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. I tested the headlights and stuff earlier and everything's all still working on there. The turn signals, parking lights, and brights and dims and everything else. So, All right, we're going to go ahead and get off of here. This is Gary signing off and thanks for watching.